Hi there, I'm Gillian from Greenland Garden Centre and I would like to say just a really large thank you to all of you who watched the Greenland Garden Tour series this summer. They were very successful and so we decided that since you enjoyed those so much that we would start our Christmas tour specials. So today I am joined by one of my favourite decorators and designers, Miles Bennett Fadoon and he is going to show us some of the things that he's gathered off the Greenland Garden Centre floor and brought into his own home to create a beautiful display for the holidays. So Miles, I have been following you for years and your style continuously evolves and change, changes. Did you want to tell me a little bit about what's inspired you this year and what may have stayed the same and what may have yeah, changed? Yeah, of course. Um, this year I really wanted to pull inspiration from a lot of natural elements. I find that earth and nature has so much beauty in it and that it's an easy thing to pull from. And that's reflected a lot in this space as well. I love playing with texture and I think that natural elements have lots of fun textures with them. So that's kind of what inspired me this year for the, for the look. Yeah, okay. So do you want to talk about your tree? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, the, the piece of piece de resistance, the tree. Okay. Um, so I wanted to go with a pencil, more of a pencil tree this year instead of a, a full tree for the space, just being a, a duplex. I yeah. like a large tree, but don't want it to overpower. Uh, and then again, the biggest thing I think you'll notice with this tree is the play of texture. We've got velvets, we've got flocking, we've got... Um, clear glass with a little feather ethereal look to it like really playing with textures with that the burlap ribbons a little bit of sparkle touch of glam uh, is what really pulls this together for me yeah and this green it's just such a rich rich yes. green yeah it's a it's a beautiful hunter green uh, and there's a little bit bordering a little bit on emerald in there yeah uh, but i think it just plays off of the natural colors that come from fresh greenery which are reflected other uh, other places in the space uh, mm -hmm. that just makes it all come together and I love a ribbon so there's a couple different ribbons on here one with a nice pine cone detail mm -hmm. and then the other one's just a nice uh, a burlap green yeah and I always find it interesting too because a lot of people when they're because on trend right now you see a lot of the brass and the gold mm -hmm. with the hunter green um, so you are playing with that in this pine cone shimmer but then again you've got the mixed metal of is this sort of a mercury glass would yeah you think? there's some silver and there is definitely some mercury ornaments in there as well to yep. um, I find if you go with one tone it can be a little bit stark sometimes so it's yep. about kind of having a color story so you're playing with metallic metal so we can get away with all of them yep. uh, there's a deer in the space here as well that has copper antlers on them yep. and you'll find that it all works together as long yep. as you make it thoughtful and impactful exactly tells a story absolutely and just plays yep. off of one another. and another thing on this tree that I've found has worked really well is uh, there's a little bit of iridescent to some of these ornaments that in dusk time this this tree just really shines uh, because of the way it shines through those ornaments. Uh, these are a favorite of mine. Uh, these, I love a finial ornament. I love yes. the detail on them, a little bit of a vintage to them. Yep. Uh, and I think uh, you were talking about my design trends and how yep. they change. I used to have a very, very whimsy space. Yep. Tons of gingerbread, peppermint. Uh, it was a lot fun. of whimsy and fun. Uh, and I like to keep a little bit of that in all that I design. Uh, yep. You know, the little owls, the branches, the, the eggs in the nest. I like a little touch of whimsy to my Christmas. Yeah. It just, <laughs> it's me, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Cool. Okay, so then this leads us into your council. Yes. Console. Console, yeah, yep. my a little yep. TV unit here. So yep. uh, I really love the concept of playing with the idea of a forest. Um, so again, we went with different textures on, on the console there with the, uh, the bottle brush trees, the wood trees, uh, and these other wooden ones here. They have actually a beading on them with some glitter. So just lots of depth, lots of different sizes. And I wanted to make it really impactful. So I think there's actually in this space, all together I think there's about 80 sizzle trees of those bottle brush trees and I just wanted to you know pack them all onto this and have a few cute animals peeking through and then we just uh, cleaned it up on the front with a flocked garland and then some uh, beautiful Christmas ornaments that match the tree you just need the fireplace yes well, we, we, the... we turn it on in the evening sometimes <laughs> and it we actually we used to have a fireplace in this space um, and I wanted to remove it so I could have room for more Christmas decor oh, there you go <laughs> Okay, so should we, there's, uh, you've managed to fit so much into this small space without crowding it. It's very tastefully done. Thank you. Um, 
I think we should wander around the room a little bit and have a look at what else we have going on in some corners. Wonderful, let's do it. Okay. So, I, first of all, I'd just like to direct our attention to this beautiful Christmas tree print. This is something I would have up all year round. Do you switch out your artwork? Uh, I do. I like to, I think that's a lovely little touch you can add to a home, uh, switching out artwork or anything that you would normally keep throughout the whole year. Take it out at this time and put in something fresh. I think it makes the holiday season just that much more special. But yes, you're totally right with something like this. You could keep it up all year round, yeah. of course. It would suit my decor. I like <laughs> sort of that antique. Oh, well, and botanicals are my thing for sure. So let's talk about these little shelfies. Do you want us to just, let's walk through those. Yeah, videos. so I like the idea of like a little bit of a gallery or of a little, little bits and pieces. Uh, a lot of the decor that I have in here, the more you look at it, the more you're gonna find. Yeah. Um, there's apothecary jars with little animals and little scenes in them. And I really like designing something that's thoughtful and curated so that when people are viewing it, they really take the time to find little surprises. And that's what makes design exciting in my opinion. Yeah. It tells a story. Yeah, and same thing. It's uh, You'll notice here too, it's playing with texture. We've got some glitter, we've got some glass, we've got burlap, there's velvets. I, I love texture on texture on texture. Yeah. I think that's a really fun way to make things visually interesting and give it depth. Yeah. Well, and it marries things together, right? So you can have these different spots, but the textures can either carry through. It just, it marries things Absolutely. all together without it being yeah, and that's the touch of whimsy too. You know, we were talking about that whimsy thing. I love a snow globe. I love just those little things that, as I mentioned, the more you look, the more you find. Yeah, it's Christmas magic. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So you dress every area up. You do window dressings with garland. Uh, do you want to just tell me your process yeah. of this as uh, well? I love, you know, I'm a, usually a more is more uh, person, so may as well cap off a window or a door frame or add a wreath where we can, uh, but doing it tastefully, of course, I think having something clean is uh, the way to do it so that it, you had mentioned it's not too much. Yep. Uh, nice and clean, and these ornaments were found at Greenland, these acorns, uh, so we just hung them from a velvet ribbon just as a added touch, and one thing I like about shopping at Greenland, of course, is the way that you guys have it sectioned out. Um, mm -hmm. If you're somebody who maybe doesn't have the ability to walk into a space and know which pieces to grab, you guys have it laid out so nice Mm -hmm. that you can go in there and go, okay, I love this look and bring it into your home. Yeah. So if you can't curate it yourself, you guys do a really good job of doing that. And yeah, found these acorns there and thought it was the perfect touch to dress up this window. Oh, it's wonderful. And then again, taxidermy. I feel every Why house <laughs> needs a little bit of taxidermy. So tell us about Well, my this. husband is a hunter, so this was a compromise because yeah. uh, as you see, there's no li or real taxidermy in here. Yeah. So we went with a, a white taxidermy with those uh, copper antlers and then just did a really simple greenery wreath uh, with some uh, green and silver and white ornaments in it uh, to frame it off nicely. And then right below uh, is just an apothecary jar with a lantern. And as I mentioned, the apothecary jars are little scenes and things that you can look in just to find little little details. Miles, I hear you've made me a lovely little cocktail to enjoy. I have. <laughs> okay, so I I'd like to do that. Let's go explore the kitchen. Wonderful. Let's head to the kitchen and I'll show you a few of the live and fresh things that we've designed for that space as well. Perfect. Let's do it. affair with florals I do. and intricate floral work and I think this is just such a beautiful little trough of flowers. Thank you. I'd really like to delve into it. For sure. And see everything involved. So again, texture, texture, texture. Tons of textures in here. Um, that's what really makes this visually interesting to me. Uh, we've got some magnolia, some helleborus, some trick dianthus, pine cones. Uh, there's some strips of birch bark in there, a few log pieces. We've added in some uh, pearlescent baubles. It's just, again, texture and uh, a color story is what makes this visually interesting for me. It's very enchanted. Well, I would thank say you. it's enchanted. And then this becomes like a forest floor, right? Yeah, that's, that's what the inspiration was, was a, yeah. a winter forest floor. Yeah. Um, and this is super long lasting. There's a few flowers in here that may wither out, but we can remove those. And then this is gonna keep for probably 
close to right to Christmas, a lot of these greens will last yeah. that long. And I love the paper white. Thank you. Yeah, and they'll grow. They'll actually, they'll start to grow and give a little bit more depth and dimension to the arrangement as well. Yeah. And um, pulling those colors out, uh, these rentals came from River City Events, which is where I work. And I think it's just a lovely way uh, to bring that into the napkin and a runner and the glassware uh, just to make a polished look. And we uh, brought that right up to the piece above the table. Mm -hmm. uh, just, I was inspired by uh, that Christmas tree print actually. And um, the idea of showcasing individual pieces of greenery. So we've got some silver for some Carolina Sapphire, uh, just to kind of highlight each, the beauty of how simple a piece of greenery hung yeah. from some jute can be, right? Yeah. And then carried up that touch of whimsy to the light fixture where uh, we got a little owl who's made his nest above the dinner table. Yeah, and I like how the light fixture itself is industrial and the, the jute is simple, like it really is it playing on that, right? Yeah, yeah, the juxtaposition of the different uh, the different metals and the, the, the whimsy and the kind of foresty with that hard industrial yeah. look. I wanted to pull, a lot of this space was pulling uh, masculinity. Yeah. Um, you know, Christmas sometimes can be very frilly and sparkle, and I think there's a way to do that, but still have it hard hitting and masculine. Yeah. And that was something that I really wanted to achieve in this space. Give it some weight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's lovely. So off of that again, then we move into some of your live plant creations Yes, absolutely. As well. So here we just did a, uh, a small planter in a concrete pot mm -hmm. uh, that again was inspired by a forest floor that ties everything together. Mm -hmm. So we've got some Christmas fern, um, some Euro cypress, uh, some snow bush, and then just around that planter, we've got some different types of mosses, some bark chips, some pine cones, some more baubles, and then we finished it all off with just a little bit of snow and this uh, flocked uh, vine ball here. And what's really important when you're pairing this together is that the watering conditions for each yes, plant. Yes, yeah. These all love water, which I mean, everyone knows winter's very dry here in Alberta. So all these are really water loving and I will admit I'm misting quite often here. We have a drier home um, and I like to keep that looking fresh all year. So definitely lots of misting, lots of water. And uh, I also line my concrete bowls with a little bit of saran wrap. Uh, this, I don't want it to drain. If yeah. this gets a tiny bit waterlogged, they're gonna love all that water they'll, there. So they'll sip it up. Yeah, and one thing I did too, uh, I had my husband go out and he cut me a lot of these wooden discs which are used around the space. I love them as a way to break up uh, kind of the granite into the concrete here. Uh, yeah. It just adds a nice little barrier for it to sit on. And then you don't have to do the full runner. Yes, the, absolutely. So yeah, and like it moves around. So, absolutely, yeah. that's a, it's a charger plate for the arrangement. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So speaking of plants sipping up water, yes. I hear you have something to do. <laughs> Are you feeling a little on? thirsty maybe? <laughs> little thirsty, yes, perhaps. yeah, we have a uh, an apple cider gin smash. So uh, we'll wet, tantalize those taste buds with a cocktail. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Miles, thank you so much for having thank us. Thank you for coming. I thoroughly enjoy your space. I'm enjoying this cocktail. I'm looking forward to sipping on it <laughs> <laughs> and relaxing on the couch and just taking it all in. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming. I really loved having you guys here to talk about uh, what inspires me for the holidays and see uh, what my heart and soul goes into. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, everyone. Have a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.